Hey guys, Trumu here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get waypoints and death points in vanilla Minecraft. It's pretty cool. Waypoints have always been something I've desired in vanilla Minecraft, but as of today, we can now create waypoints and death points in vanilla Minecraft. Thanks to the Red Engineer, uh, this command is possible on 1.9 and 1.8. So let's go ahead and get started uh, by giving ourselves a command block. Um, make sure you guys leave a like, by the way, uh, down below if you do enjoy this video, uh, but go ahead and place down that command block and paste in the command that I have in the description for you. And uh, make sure that always active button is checked if you are on 1.9, if you're on 1.8. Uh, just power it up with some redstone. Um, and once it powers up, it should spawn in a machine here, as usual. Uh, give it some time though, this machine is pretty intense, as you can see. And, oh, okay. <laughs> well, there it is. It's it's in midair, but that's fine. It is now finishing up here. Red Engineer, you always make really cool commands, uh, just by the way. Make sure you guys check out his channel for real, though. Uh, but yeah, over here on these signs, we got item recipes, and we have the command sign itself, uh, the deactivate and activate signs down there. And then, uh, yeah, so if you want to see the recipes... <laughs> Go ahead and click that sign and uh, you can see all the recipes in the chat, but I'm going to show you here on video, so uh, yeah, just stick around. You can drop a compass on the ground with a redstone lamp and a name tag, and uh, they should all combine if they are close enough. Please combine. Okay, there we go. I don't know why that took so long. Okay, I'm getting some lag today, guys. This is weird. Okay, so I got a waypoint egg, and the way this works is... I'm going to get a few of these, actually. I'm going to get 64. Um, the way this works is whenever you place it down... Okay, that was weird. An Enderman will actually spawn and then despawn, but what really happens is a waypoint is created. Now, you can change the color of this waypoint by uh, simply dropping a die on it uh, that is renamed to waypoint, and I need to do that real quick, so uh, be right back. Just, just, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my waypoint, I've got my anvil, and I've got my few dies right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop into this anvil and rename each and every one of these dies to uh, waypoint, and then I will see you after that. Okay, so this is my last one here. I'm just going to change it to waypoint. Make sure you capitalize that W, and uh, there we go. We now have a whole bunch of different dies here, and uh, what we do is we actually take these over to any waypoint beam that is uh, spawned on the ground, and then uh, do we drop it? I'm actually not sure if we drop it or not. Maybe right click? Don't right click. Okay, don't right click. So the way this works is uh, once you've got your die here, uh, basically just pick any color that you want any waypoint beam like this one right here, if I want this to be uh, orange, uh, I take that die and I throw it through the beam, and it should turn that color. As you can see, it is now orange, which is great. And uh, I can pick up uh, I can pick up this die again, and then anytime I uh, right click it, it will actually teleport me back. Now there are two ways you can teleport back, depending on which version you are in. If you are in 1.9, uh, hold it in your left hand, like this, and then just press shift on your keyboard and you will teleport to that colored waypoint. Uh, so if I hold shift on anything else, any of these other dies, as you can see, won't teleport me, but I can place another waypoint. So uh, I'm gonna go place one in the creeper cade, uh, the creeper arcade here, because maybe I don't wanna walk to the arcade. Maybe I just wanna teleport because I'm super lazy, you know? Uh, so I put a waypoint in there, and I already forgot to drop my die in there. So I'm going to throw a cyan die through the beam there. And then it should turn cyan. I don't know. There we go. Okay, it worked, I think. Yes, it looks like it did. Okay, so I got this uh, cyan die. If I right-click it uh, while holding shift, it won't work because I'm on 1.9. Uh, the other way to actually teleport, and I didn't even explain it yet. If you're on 1.8, just hold the die and crouch. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just 1.9. If you're using that, you have to hold it in your left hand and then press shift 
which is uh, much cooler because uh, it's, it's definitely an easier way to be able to tell if you're going to teleport or not uh, by putting it in your left hand. So yeah, basically really freaking cool because waypoints rock and I've always wanted to have waypoints in vanilla Minecraft and I hope you felt the same way too. Uh, but we're not done with this command because I'm going to test out these waypoints a little further. Maybe I want to be at the top of that Enderman ride over there, but I don't want to walk all the way up or climb up it. Uh, well, uh, these waypoints can take care of that for me. As you can see, I am atop the Enderman. You do have to uh, it go to the place at least one time before you can waypoint it. And uh, once you're here, go ahead and right-click the ground with the waypoint, just like so. And uh, we're gonna make this uh, checkpoint or waypoint, not checkpoint. J Come on, Jason. Uh, a purple. We're gonna make it purple because it's uh, that is the color of the Enderman. And uh, I'm gonna wait. Okay, there we go. Um, it says it's gonna do this. I'm gonna wait here for a second because for some reason I'm having a lot of lag. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a problem, but I'll, I'll pick up this die sooner or later. Still waiting. Yay! I got it back. Okay. So yeah, uh, we, we now have a waypoint uh, for atop the Enderman there. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump all the way down here and then. Um, to use it, I'm going to put it in my left hand, and uh, shift, oh, and nice, okay, we are now back up here, that was really cool, and it was instant, uh, man, I love teleporting, uh, but yeah, that is uh, pretty much all the waypoints, now moving on to death points, because that is the other point of this video, <laughs> um, but yeah, death points are actually a thing now too, so if I do game mode zero, Okay, that was weird. I don't know why it was a delayed reaction, but I died, okay? So, uh, whenever I click respawn, and I don't... What? Where am I? Alrighty then, so I'm back on the ground. There's the Enderman ride. Um, I'm headed back over here where I died, and uh, there appears to be a grave. A grave with uh, my name on it. I mean, I, I think my name is supposed to be on there, but it's not, and I'm not sure why. Um, the map itself is, this is an old map by the way, so this may be interfering with the command. Plus there's tons of redstone everywhere, so this may have not been the best idea to review this command on this map. But uh, anyways, the way the grave works is, I believe if you just destroy these two blocks here, you can uh, climb inside and get your items back. And another cool thing about the grave is that uh, the items inside will not despawn which is uh, super awesome. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this command. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, uh, definitely stick around and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome Minecraft videos. Also, check out my new animation of the Minecraft News Network. Uh, it's pretty funny. It was made by Abraham Animations. So you know it's good. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I will talk to you guys later. And uh, peace out.